Hi children, I am Gulzar ID, Assistant Science Teacher. You see enormous variety of plants, animals and objects around us. If we take a close look at any matter, we come to know that all the matter is made up of very small particles called atom. Today we are going to study about structure of atom using FET simulations. Children, first I want you all to look at screen. I want you to check something. Let us know about the variables which are present over here. You can see a periodic table on right side which include elements. Now let us check net charge. Can you tell me what do you mean by net in chemistry? Yes, net means total. So you can see net charge right now is at middle that is zero. Depending upon what we are going to do we get the positive charge and negative charge. This will help us to know whether an atom has a positive charge or negative charge. Then today we are also going to study about mass number. And also here you can see stable and unstable button to know whether the atom is stable or unstable. Children, here you can observe three buckets. Can you tell me what are these? Yes, here we have protons, neutrons and electrons. These are constituents of atom. Atom consists of particles including protons, neutrons, and electrons. Children, now look at the middle of atom. Can you tell me what do you call the middle of atom? Children, we call it as nucleus. You can observe circle over here. So these circles are called as orbits. Now, can you tell what does nucleus contain? What particles are found in the nucleus? I want you to add all the three particles in the center. Let us add a proton. Yes, we got one particle in the nucleus that is proton. Now, let us add a neutron and check. Yes, we got another particle in the nucleus that is neutron. Let us add electron to the nucleus. Try to add electron to the nucleus. No, electron takes its position on orbit. Let us add another electron. No, electron again went to orbit. Now tell me, what particles are found in the center of the atom? Yes, children, nucleus contain protons and neutrons. Both together, that is protons and neutrons together are called as nucleons. Now, what particles is found in orbit? Yes, children, that is electron and electron they revolve around the nucleus in an orbit. Okay children, now let us reset it. Now children, let us once again add proton to the nucleus. Now look at everything that happened. Can you tell me how many protons are present in the atom now? Yes, it is one. Can you tell me which element is this? Yes. Yes, children, by seeing periodic table, you can say it is hydrogen because it has one proton. Now, let us check the mass number. Can you tell me the mass number of hydrogen atom? You can see here the mass number is 1. Since each proton is 1 am view, we have the mass number 1. Now, 
let us know about net charge what is the net charge of hydrogen yes here you can see the net charge is plus 1 because we have one proton in hydrogen atom we got plus 1 net charge but observing the net charge can you tell me what is the charge of proton the charge of proton is positive so every proton is positive since we have one proton and therefore the net charge is plus 1 now let us know about ion children what do you mean by ion an ion means an atom with charge so if your atom is not neutral then it is an ion now add another proton to the nucleus what going to happen now i want you to think and say what will be the atom what will be the net charge and what will be the mass number so when you observe periodic table you came to know that an atom with the two proton is helium now add another proton now an atom with the three proton is lithium so first we had one proton that is hydrogen then we had two protons in the center of nucleus atom that is helium now we have three protons and atom with three proton is lithium now add one more proton now an atom with four proton is beryllium if we add another proton an atom with five proton is boron so when we observe the periodic table adding proton changes the identity of atom and also adding one moves from left to right on the periodic table okay children now let us know about the atomic number so atomic number is equal to the number of the protons here we have a boron atom and number of the proton in the boron atom is 1 2 3 4 5 therefore atomic number of boron is yes it is 5 when we come to the beryllium how many protons are there in beryllium so 1 2 3 4 then what is the atomic number of beryllium yes children it is 4 in lithium how many protons are there in lithium we have three protons 1 2 3 therefore the atomic number of the lithium is 3 so if i have i will add protons to the nucleus then the number of protons is called as the atomic number of that atom so now we have oxygen can you tell me what is the atomic number of oxygen count the number of protons here we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 protons in oxygen atom therefore the atomic number of the oxygen is 8 now what you have observed in this simulation so by this simulation we came to know that number of the proton is called as the atomic number and adding proton changes the identity of the atom and adding one moves from left to right on the periodic table now we have five protons in the in our nucleus so what is the net charge you can see here the net charge is plus 5 and also you can see 
it is still a positive ion since we have five protons therefore the atom is a positive ion now let us check the mass number what is the mass number children you can see here the mass number is 5 because each proton is 1 amu we have 5 protons hence mass number is 5 now tell me whether the atom is stable or unstable just by clicking stable or unstable button you can see here that it is unstable you can see here it is not happy we know that boron is a positive atom now I want a neutral atom what we have to add now is it a neutron or electron now let us add an electron and check what will happen when we add electron it takes its position on orbit now how many electron I have to add to make it neutral so I have added one electron now let us add one more electron add one more electron go on adding the electron till you get neutral atom so we have added five electron yeah we got it so now you can see we have five protons and five electrons you can see here we have five positive protons and five negative electrons that is five minus five is equal to zero and that is the neutral atom if I add one more then one more electron then what will happen yes if I add one more electron then the atom will be negative ion what you have understood by this simulation adding electron will change it from positive ion to neutral atom depending upon how many electron you add and also we came to know that the charge of the electron is negative now children let us add a neutron to nucleus let us see what will happen children now I want you to observe whether element changes on adding neutron what will be the net charge and what will be the mass number add neutron to nucleus is there any change in the identity of element no still it is a boron atom now let us add one more neutron is there any change in the identity of atom no still it is a boron is there any change in the net charge no then why because neutrons are neutral they do not have charge now let us check the mass number is there any change when you add neutron to the nucleus yes you can observe the mass number is changing so here we have mass number 9 so we here we have 5 protons and 4 neutrons and therefore the mass number is 9 now can you tell me what is atomic mass number yes children sum of number of protons and number of neutron is called as atomic mass number now I want to make this atom stable what do you think we have to add yes we have to add another neutron let us check by adding neutron we got a stable atom so 
you can get the atom to be stable or unstable by adjusting the number of the neutrons so here we have five protons five neutrons and five electrons and we got an neutral atom Lastly, let us reset and know how many electrons can be added in the first orbit and second orbit. So, in the first orbit, let us add the electrons. So, it has two electrons. Let us try to add one more. The electrons take six position to the next orbit. That means, in first orbit, we can only add two electrons and in the second orbit, we can add up to 8 electrons. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So in this simulation we came to know that in the first orbit we can only add 2 and in the second orbit we can add 8 electrons. So children, today we have investigated and understood that all the matter is made up of atoms and atoms consist of particles including protons, neutrons and electrons and electrons revolve around nucleus in an orbit. And we also understood how adding the proton uh, changes the identity of atom and what is the atomic number that is equal to the number of protons and also we studied uh, about the mass number so mass number is nothing but it is the uh, sum of the total number of the protons and the neutrons present in the nucleus and also we came to know about the atom uh, how to get the stable and unstable atom by adjusting the number of the neutrons and also we understood how to get the positive neutral and uh, negative by adding the electrons to the orbits. Thank you.